Hello. You might be wondering what that is. It's a processor. Or a processor. It is an Intel Celeron 2.4 GHz processor. Or if it'll come into focus, it is an E3200. Um, I have this here because it is a dead chip. And I wanted to learn you guys something about heat spreading technology. If you want to give me just a moment, I will do a little more explaining. I'm going to need one of these. That is a stock Intel CPU cooler. What's important about it is the bottom side. That is the stock thermal paste that comes on it new. I may or may not have poked it with my finger on accident just a minute ago, pulling it out of the box. Don't worry about that. I replace that whenever I use it anyway, just because I don't trust the cheap stuff that comes with it. You know, uh, yeah, well enough is good, but if you have the other stuff lying around, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't have something better if you have it available for you. So what happens is your CPU sits in the motherboard slot underneath your giant beefy cooler if said thing applies to you and be giant beefy cooler since this is not a giant beefy cooler it's much easier to maneuver and show you guys what I'm talking about it has a copper base that absorbs the heat into the fins on the edges and this fan I believe the Intel cooler blows down onto it to spread the air around so it cools the fins therefore lowering the overall temperature of the processing unit now the heat spreader on top of this is not the processor itself it is actually just a thin layer of metal I'm not sure if it's steel or aluminum I think it may be stainless because I've never seen one rust but don't quote me on that I'm probably wrong I'm sure you'll let me know you need one of these to cut the glue off around the corners for the demonstration I'm going to give you. Now, there you have your actual processing unit. That little square in the middle. That is what does all of the work. You can see from the factory they use a thick amount of thermal paste on it. Why not? If you're going to build it, you might as well build it excessive, right? There's nothing for it to conduct on around any of that anyways. So extra thermal paste kind of flopping over the edges isn't the worst thing that can happen to you. So you've got this little guy, which is actually fairly lightweight now that it has nothing attached to it. And there's the back side, front side. You have the heat spreader right here, which like I said, is just a piece of metal that spreads the heat evenly so that it can dissipate well when coming in contact with the cooler. That is pretty much how it works guys. Give me just one second and I'll show you something fancy. That is a very shiny little square. The reason why, flat surface, touches that better, dissipates heat better. From the factory it comes with its own thermal paste from wherever it's put together. This one is put together in Costa Rica, which is actually cool because like I enjoy the whole everything's built all around the world thing. I also support Made in USA, but you know, there's not really anything I as an individual can do about it. So if it supports somebody, that's cool. I don't mind it supporting another country because you know, everybody's got to eat guys regardless of who does the job. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something. That little guy right there is just so cool. It's literally just that center piece that does all of the brain work in your computer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Smash the like button if you did. Definitely subscribe to see more little tips, tech things, and just kind of unboxy gerb. Have a good one, guys.